what is going on guys welcome to another vlog babe what are you wearing that is a sweet outfit so a long time ago my great aunt my grandmother's sister gave me a bunch of sweaters because she used to have a knitting shop so and cool. how she got these sweaters are the companies would make like these special threads and then send her a sample oh. and all the samples are my size so, this is a sample? Yeah, it's what? a sample from the company that makes or made this. I don't even know if they're in business anymore. This is like 40, 50 years old. Maybe what? Yeah. So, True actually, vintage. Actually, it's probably around 50 or... Yeah, 50. That's like antique. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I got all of these crazy sweaters and I was like, you know what? I need to do Allie's 20 days of sweaters you should in the last two days i wore my unicorn sweaters so i just gotta wear all my crazy funky sweaters i love it babe yeah because otherwise That's when awesome. am i gonna wear them <laughs> if i don't do it for the vlog well guys welcome to our vlog my name is ryan roots and i'm Allie roots and together, together we, we are rally, rally roots, roots. Today is gonna be a thrifting vlog. Uh, we got a couple of thrift stores that we like to go to. Usually they have really good stuff for us to buy. Um, and today's gonna to be kind of different. We are looking for stuff to resell, obviously, because that's what we do for a living. Um, but we're also looking for Christmas presents. Yes. Um, and just like unique stuff that we like. Like this, for example. Picked this up at a thrift store. It's awesome. And I kept it, so. I'm wearing these leggings. They're from a thrift store. And my shoes are from a garage sale. You get your full outfit in. Ooh. Hey babe, you're kind of hot. Oh. <laughs> so that is the plan today. I guess off to the first thrift store. Let's see what we find. First thrift store. That's a hard thing to say. First thrift store. Let's go. <laughs> Who's a pretty pretty bow dog? Urr. Hey, see you later. See you later. Bye. Hey. Bye. So we're pulling up on our first thrift store stop, which is going to be a Salvation Army. Um, just a quick tip for you guys, Salvation Army, at least in our area, they do this thing called Half Off Wednesdays, where everything like shoes and clothing wise is half off in the store. Um, different thrift stores run different deals throughout the week, so my suggestion would be to, if you're into thrifting, like look online and see if your stores do any special days or offer any special coupons. Some of the Goodwills in our area also do like 30% off coupons. A lot of them have color codes, like color tags, where if uh, it doesn't matter what day of the week, if the color of the tag is that color, then you get 50% off the item. And that's on anything. So again, just look online and see if there's any deals or coupons in your local area and make sure that you're taking advantage of those deals. All right, sweet. Cue thrifting montage in three, two, one. How are you? We I love, love you, you so much. much. <laughs> I, 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 I absolutely Aww. watch you guys every day. Aww. And y'all are inspiration both of you guys. Stop. Thank You're you. awesome. And that's my mother and father. Oh What's up? How's it going? <laughs> every, day every day. Thank you. Oh, huh, Allie. <laughs> yeah. Some more Berkies. Really? Yeah. Wow. Shoes are good. I found those Berkies and look, babe, these are sorrel. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, I love that one. That's a good one. That's my size. I need that. <laughs> that's a nice, uh, that's a nice Orvis shirt. That is so funny. That's actually not a bad Tommy Bahama. Oh. $8, so before. Hmm. I'm still gonna leave it though. <laughs> Gosh, Allie, Allie, for my dad, <laughs> for my dad, the prepper, oh my God. life gear. We gotta get that for him, right? Ten dollars. Oh snap! It's one of those sweaters. <laughs> why do we? Why do we do so well with these? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm getting it. Actually, looking at it, this one isn't old enough. I'm gonna put it back. What's up? North Face. North Face for two fifty. Oh, that's a actually that's a really nice quality one. I like that one. Nice. Ooh, Harley logo. Oh man, but it's not on a Harley shirt. That's too bad. Harley Aww. logo not on a Harley shirt. Peter Millar. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. 
It's woman's? Yeah. It's really nice. I like that. Hmm. All right, we got a cart full of stuff to go through. Okay. Let's uh, let's start looking stuff up. Well, I'm pretty sure we absolutely killed it at that Salvation Army. Yeah. We haven't been to half off days here in probably like two or three months, and I'm glad that we came today because we picked up some awesome stuff. Fire! I'm talking Pendleton, Merrill, the North Face. Uh, a new <laughs> brand that we don't really know well. Yes, uh, we'll show you guys everything at the very end of this video, um, but we got some really great stuff, and we only spent like $43 or something yeah. like that. So at the end of this video, stay tuned. We'll show you guys everything. But for now, there's a Goodwill down the street. So we're off to the Goodwill, yeah? Yeah, and if we don't find anything at that Goodwill, fine. Because we really got a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah, honestly, like just walking in and finding that Pendleton coat, that was that was worth the trip, just finding yeah. that. And I that mean, was the Berkey's first thing Yeah, and Sorrels. True. I oh, mean, yeah, true. come on, we killed true. it, yeah. Also, shout out to Keisha and her awesome family. Yeah. The sweetest people, it was so nice to meet you. Um, and leave a comment on this video. Let us know that you watch it. She said they watch all of our videos. Oh my gosh, your whole family knew us. You guys so are cute. awesome, awesome people. Yeah, all so right, nice. more thrifting, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, again? Look at that. That's old. <laughs> this is sweet, babe. Fun and Vince too, sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> So I feel like we crushed it again at that Goodwill. Second thrift store today and we got some really awesome stuff. Yeah, we were expecting to find nothing. Yeah. Honestly. Today was a great day of thrifting. Yeah. I'm excited to show you guys everything that we got. Um, there's going to be some brands that we've actually never had on our channel before, mostly because they're hard to find. So yeah, sweet. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll head home and then we'll show you guys everything we got. So. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, let's do that. Sweet. Guys, super exciting news. I'm so excited. We just found out that the new Round 2 Vintage Shop is opening up on Friday. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I promised my younger brother, Ben, that for his birthday, we would take him out to Miami um, for the opening of that store. And if you guys aren't familiar with what it is, it's a, it's a YouTube channel um, with the, a bunch of guys, these three guys that started like a whole bunch of these stores. Um, they started in Virginia and they sell like really, really cool vintage used clothing and hype stuff like Supreme and Bape and stuff. Um, but really awesome guys. We love the channel. We love the show. So we're going out there. We're going to go out there for the grand opening of their new vintage store. Um, we leave tomorrow and I guess the plan is um, my brother's coming here. We're all going to drive together and we'll probably hit some thrift stores along the way. Um, and then when we get there to round two um, on Friday, we're going to go in there for the grand opening. Maybe we'll meet some of the owners. I don't know, but it should be a really fun time. If anything, we'll probably find some cool stuff. And I'm going to take some of our vintage stuff down there um, to Miami to see if they want to buy any of it because uh, they buy and sell and trade stuff as well. So I'm excited. Stay tuned for those videos. We'll try to get some of them out. Um, but yeah, super excited. All right. Anyway, on with uh, with what we found at the thrift stores today. All right, guys, we are back home. Um, I'm excited. I was just laying out the thrift stuff that we got today. And this actually might be one of the best hauls we've ever had, at least for this year anyway. Yeah. Um, so some really, really good stuff, some cool brands in here. And I figured we would just go through everything one by one and we'll tell you why we bought it and maybe how much we feel it'll be able to resell for. Most of this stuff is to resell. Some of it we did like buy for ourselves or presents or, or 
that kind of thing. But most of it's to resell, so that's what we'll go ahead and show you. Yeah? Yeah. This first item Allison found at Salvation Army, so. I went to the women's department because, you know, Ryan really goes to the men's area really fast. So I was like, ah, maybe I will find something in the women's. Found this fleece and found exact comps for it. Sweet. It is the Disney store. So I even typed in the Disney store fleece poo. And this one popped up, which was really super exciting that I found an exact comp. Because usually with Disney stuff, there's so much, you don't find exact comps. That's true, yeah. And so it's desirable. There are multiple sales, different nice. sellers. Yeah. This is actually a nice Disney it. item, and it's in really good condition. So what were the comps? How much? Oh, they were between 30 and $35. Okay, and then we yeah. paid 7 bucks for it. So not too bad there. Yeah. Sweet. This next brand, you guys have seen us pick up multiple times. It's one of our favorite brands to resell. Yeah. It's called Untuck It. And this is a men's size large slim fit shirt. And it has um, this little thing down there. True, true. Little triangle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they resell very, very well for us. Great following. Uh, the shirts are very expensive new, which is why they resell for so much. Um, this one we only paid four dollars for which is a great price it's crazy cheap yeah and i would say on this one maybe 35 to 40 dollars is what we'll get for it used so pretty good item always look out for that brand this next one was kind of a shot in the dark um I, we haven't really sold this brand before it's called kenzo paris but i looked up the i looked it up on ebay and there was one that had sold for like 60 something dollars it's crazy um, this one's small it's a size small the one that it sold was like an extra large but it's an interesting item. This one does have like a couple small pinholes at the at like the waistline where your belt would be, um, but it's kind of worth a shot. You said we should buy it anyway, right? Yeah, I thought it was worth the gamble for $3. Three because, bucks. I mean, what if it does sell for $40 or $30? Still worth it, yeah. Or even, yeah, $25. Or you said you might want to keep it for yourself. Or I could just keep it for myself and people be like, that girl's wearing a $60 t-shirt, so. <laughs> <laughs> either, either way works, I guess. This next brand is an awesome brand to resell if you can find it. It's called Robert Graham. And thrift stores know about it, so you'll always pay up for it. That's true. In fact, this shirt we paid $13 for, which is a lot of money, I know, to pay for a short sleeve button-up Robert Graham shirt. But the design's really good. It's like this orange paisley design. And the shirt's in very, orange. very good, <laughs> orange, very good condition. It's got like that floral underneath the collar there. It still so. has the little rubber gram things in it mm -hmm. for the, for the yeah, collar to keep the, the collar, collar stiff. Um, it's a size small, classic fit. I would say we'll probably get like 37 to $40 for it. So and that's an easy sale. It's an easy sale and it's a good quality item. So happy about that. This next item is probably one of Allison's best finds ever. Well, it's pretty unique. Clothing wise for women's clothing -wise. clothes, yeah, I would say it's definitely one of the best and probably will be the best. Hideous. Yeah. <laughs> so the more obnoxious, the better, guys, whenever it comes to, I would say, vintage pieces. And this was no exception. I don't like it. I saw it. I was like, that is a lit shirt. Like, that thing is great. Is gray. it vintage? Yeah, it is okay. vintage. And the brand is Anage. Anage. I found, Anage. <laughs> I found a comp for $108. Crazy. And that doesn't even include the shipping. I don't remember how much the shipping was, but a sold comp, which is crazy on something vintage. But because it's so unique, you know, True. you can type in like America. Nice. Whenever you put the listing. <laughs> America. <up. laughs> and it was a uh, $13. Paid up for it, but a comp at 108. 13 bucks into 100 is awesome. That. Good job. Yeah. Nice find. This next item we found right as we walked into the thrift store. It's got free hair. It's got included. like cat hair on it. So I don't want to like get that anywhere. Um, but the brand is one. amazing. The brand is Pendleton. Pendleton Woolen Mills, Pendleton Woolen Mills. Um, this is a hundred percent wool full zip jacket. Really, really nice. These are quality, quality items, and they have a great following. Even says Pendleton on the zipper. Um, and this one, this one was it was twelve ninety nine half off. So we yep. paid six dollars and fifty cents for this jacket. It's a brand, I guess, that the thrift stores don't quite know yet, which is nice. Or maybe someone just <clears throat> missed it. Yeah. But either way, really good jacket, great brand to look out for. That one, I wouldn't be surprised if we got around $70 for it. Okay, this next brand is one that is, this is a new brand for us. We actually have never sold this before. And it was a, one of the times in the thrift store where I was like going through the racks and I was like, that's an interesting label. Shirt feels like quality. And then there was like this other little hang tag on the bottom of the shirts, which 
All of these things, all of these little things cost companies extra money to do. So if they're gonna do that, the shirts are probably gonna be more expensive. The brand of it is Smart Wool. Um, so, I don't know, interesting brand. It's just a regular men's polo, size extra, extra large. I wouldn't even have grabbed this. I don't know if I would have noticed that and it doesn't mm. feel great to me. Really? No. I mean, it feels pretty, pretty good quality I wasn't to me. impressed <laughs> and I'm still not impressed. <laughs> You're hard to impress. Uh, paid $5 half off, so $2.50 for it. And I don't know exactly what this will sell for. I was looking at the comps and it looks like mid 30s to 40s. And they didn't put a big hole in the shirt because they put it through the tag. Thanks, Salvation Army. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of those bread and butter, meat and potatoes. Don't ever say. Kidney beans and fries. B &B on our <laughs> channel. It's always, ooh, yum. Yum. Um, it is the North Face. Milk and cereal item, guys. But you didn't say for your face. For your face. <laughs> it's the North Face. It's just a regular, like, uh, button down short sleeve shirt. Picked it up because it was cheap. It was half off of $4.99, so $2.50. Um, we get like 20, mid 20s for it. So. Yeah, and it sells really fast. This next one, Allison found. I actually don't see women's Peter Millar stuff very often. Like ever. Yeah, so this was kind of cool to find. It's like very spandexy. Too. Yeah, I wasn't really sure, but it was half off. So it was $3.50. And I figured if it's not worth reselling, I could keep it or oh, your mom could keep it. So It's definitely quality. Because it's such nice quality yeah. and it's kind of cold. So I have to wear a jacket whenever I rollerblade now. True. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe nice. we should sell. Let us know what you think it'll sell for in the comments below. It's definitely nice. Now this next t-shirt is not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going into my personal collection of awesome cat shirts. <laughs> I don't have a Halloween cat shirt, so here we go. Now Meow I have Halloween. one. <laughs> Half off of $1.99, so it was a dollar. I'll take that. <laughs> This next one, just a basic Columbia PFG um, Florida Gators shirt. Good size, size large. Uh, it was $6.99 half off, so $3.50. We don't get a whole ton of money for these, but it's a pretty quick sale for us, for our accounts. We usually get between like $22 to $25, depending on the time of the year. So usually we wait till like college football season to list stuff like this, and it it goes pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, large and extra large is typically better. Small, medium, aren't is great. Mm. Small is the worst when it comes to Columbia shows. Absolutely. Next up, guys, this is probably a brand that you've never seen before. It's, I think this is actually our first time finding it at a thrift store. The shirts are incredible, really, really nice quality. I kind of wish it was my size because I would keep it. Um, but the name of the company is called Mizzen and Main. Um, I believe they're a Texas-based company, like Dallas or Houston. Um, their shirts are made in America. They're they're the nicest quality um, dress shirts that I've ever felt. They're amazing. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it doesn't wrinkle. Yeah, when they say no wrinkle, they're it definitely kidding. is no wrinkle. So I think they call them performance dress shirts, um, and they definitely are like built to perform. It does so. feel like golfing fabric. It does for like golf for clothes. sure. It does, but even those like moisture wicking golf polos, they still wrinkle. And this like it doesn't wrinkle, which is crazy. Oh. So these are incredibly expensive on their websites and I, I don't know if they have like boutiques or where they sell the items. I know that they do sell directly on their website and a shirt like this on their website is $125. Um, this one we paid $8 for at Goodwill and the resale value on something like this, probably 50 bucks used. That's crazy. So really, really excited to find this brand. Boom. Another great brand that not a lot of people know about, it's called Vince. You ever see that? It's all capital letters and it just says Vince. <laughs> That's my brother's name. This is Vince's company? Yeah, my brother has a company. It makes really nice expensive shirts. You make expensive <laughs> stuff, my friend. <laughs> He's probably not watching this. Probably not. Uh, this is just a regular XL t-shirt, paid $3 for it at Goodwill, um, but this will probably sell in the mid-20s for us. So for a t-shirt, that's pretty good. This was your one, right? This is your gamble. You took a shot on yeah, this one. Yeah, it's an like interesting a shot item. in the dark. So it's Disney's 1928, and it was only four dollars, and it's a 4x, which is really interesting because I don't often see Disney sizes above 2x. You know? <laughs> yeah. So I thought that that was really cool, and True. this 19th, what is it? 1928 is. 1928 That's for like Disney. That's like a really niche. So it is like an actual partnership with Disney. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. It's an interesting item. Is it full zip? Yeah, it's full yeah, zip. I don't so No. Any idea but what the value dollars. will be? We paid $4 for it. I have no idea what it's worth. Cool. All right. 
Definitely, Gambled. Definitely worth more than four bucks though. Yeah. <laughs> this next one, we haven't been picking up this brand as much lately just because the prices have tanked a little bit. Um, but this one is the signature edition of it. Um, and the brand is Roar. Roar. <laughs> uh, just a pretty simple like black button down shirt or button up shirt, right? Super nice. Yeah. By the way, guys, the difference between a button up shirt and a button down shirt is button down refers to the collar. So if the collar actually buttons down into the shirt. So if you see a shirt with a collar that buttons into it, that's button down. Otherwise it's button up. Or you could just use like button front as well. A lot of people just use that button front shirt. Anyway, this one's Roar. We paid $4.98 for it. And we'll probably list it for like mid twenties, maybe, maybe a little bit higher, $27 and then take a $25 offer for it. Yeah. Boom. This next shirt, I don't know exactly what the value of it is, um, but it is new with tags. It's got a, what is that, Stein, Steinmart? What tag is that? It doesn't even say. Does it say? It's got a tag still on it. Uh, don't see, it, this, it is a made in the USA nutmeg shirt, so it, it would be considered vintage. It's not single stitch or anything, but it would be considered vintage. And then the front of it just says, Chicago 45, he's back. So it was when uh, Michael Jordan came back with the number 45. Uh, Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls, exactly. Got it. So it was when he came back um, and wore the number 45. So it's a pretty it's a pretty decent item. I think that somebody would really like it. I don't know again what it's worth, but we only paid three bucks for it. And to, to be new with tags, that's good. Nutmeg. Nutmeg Mills. And then the last piece of clothing item, Another Mizzen in Maine. Such a good find. <laughs> they were one after each other. I was so excited. Only $8, great deal. And this one again, probably 45 to 50 bucks. Boom. Boom. <laughs> so that's all the clothing that we got. Um, we did get one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes. So let's walk through the shoes now. We did huh, really we'll well. Walk through the shoes now. Let's see oh, what you did there. Funny. <laughs> we'll start with these. These are SAS San Antonio Shoe Company. Um, always check the condition on these things. These ones are in great condition. Excellent condition. I don't wow. think we've ever purchased a pair from a thrift store in this good of condition. Yeah, these ever. are absolutely fantastic. Um, and they were $10 half off. So I paid $5 for these. That is on the lower end of what we usually pay for these shoes. So that's yeah. cool. Uh, we just sold a pair of these or ones that were just like this for 50 bucks. So I would assume we'll get 50, $60 for these shoes. Yeah, because they're in incredible condition. We yeah. should get 60. Sweet. Next up. Berkeys. These ones we found at one thrift store, and these ones we found at another thrift store. We got Berkeys on Berkeys! Uh, these ones are Berkeys clogs, and these ones are Birkenstocks. So these With ones. Berkeys inserts. I mean, inserts. they're both the same company. Yeah, they're both Berkeys, I guess. These ones are in better condition, and they were $10 half off, so $5. These ones were $8. Um, these are a bigger size, which is better, but I don't know. They're both, they're both nice. Birkenstock stuff we do very well with. Uh, so I would say probably 50, 60 on these and I don't know about the same 40 to 60 on these. All right. Yeah. That's great. And Ryan joked about wearing them and then I joked about strangling him. So <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Oh God, don't. <laughs> and then I think I found these ones, right? Yeah. Yes. You found those. I found these. These are Sorrel boots. Uh, Sorrel. Sorrel. <laughs> They're a men's size 11 and a half. They're pretty neat. They got like a buckle on the side, Whoa. which is kind of kind of unique. Also in very good condition. Make sure that you always check the condition of your shoes, like bend the sole. And make, make sure, sure the sole doesn't separate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but these are really nice ones. Um, the model of them is men's NM1875-245. I did look them up by the model number on eBay. Um, I didn't see any like sold comps on them, but there was an auction going on for a pair of used ones and it was at like 45 bucks. So, and these ones we paid half off of 15, so $7.50. Yeah. Take like that. And then last but not least, these are my favorite find of the day. Oh. Allison found them. So, Yay. good job. I actually there. found something. These are so cool. So cool, so unique. Um, they're vintage Merrill. And vintage Merrill, not only are they vintage Merrill, but they are made in Italy. Made in Italy. Made in Italy and in great condition for for like being vintage shoes. They do have the Vibram soles. Um, Vibram. The, the soles are fine. The shoes are great. I mean, we're going to clean these up and sell them for a lot of money. 
even the, the shoelaces are original. That's how they came with these blue shoelaces. So I absolutely love these things. If they were my size, I would keep them, but they're not, they're a men's size eight. Um, and they're just great guys. I absolutely love these things. Vintage, there's something about like vintage leather made in Italy shoes that like just yeah. gets me going. <laughs> it gets you going. <laughs> and these are uh, $13 half off. So, and then good price. really good price for them. I think we're probably gonna aim for the stars on these ones and clean them up and list them for, I would say around $150. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we got an offer around 130. So yeah, and we did really well. Happy. I mean, we put a lot of stuff back because it was too yeah. expensive, but we still managed to find things. Right. So, you know, thrift stores are asking a lot more, sure. but they do miss some things. And then, you know, we get to basically grab those yeah. things that they miss. I think we did great. We made a ton of money and we had fun. It only took so us a couple fun. hours to go. We had a great time together. And yeah, guys, that's our thrift haul. Hopefully so you enjoyed lucky. it. You get to hang out with me I love all day. It. <laughs> How about this? Let us know what your favorite find is in the comments below. These were obviously my favorite find. Did you have one favorite find? Oh, uh, that America jacket that America was just so great. Yeah. That's so great. So those are ours. Let us know what your guys' favorite find was in the comments below. And uh, please make sure to hit the thumbs up on this video. Hopefully you liked it. If this is the first video of ours that you've watched, um, please subscribe to our channel and hopefully you enjoy it. This yeah. is what we do. We make videos like this for you guys. And then if you didn't like the video, just give it a thumbs just up. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ryan Ritz. I'm Alex. And together, together we, we are Rally Roots. Roots. Peace out, guys. Bye.